It's March the 24th, 2015. This is for my documentary about racism in America and the judicial system. This is Harriet Tubman, part of the Underground Railroad. And I established my company as Shorty's Underground Ribs. This material that I'm posting up here on Facebook is for educational purposes. I just left Congressman Cummings' office. Just left there just now. And these are the issues that I was talking about. Criminal, judiciary, and I'm a veteran. This was what Congressman Cummings had. It's the prison industry in America, legalized slavery. That's the letter from Congressman Cummings, the, 20, the 17th of this month. This is the material that was stolen from me on March the 7th, 2011, by the state of Maryland, Governor O'Malley, Scott Schellenberger. This is the NAACP. Like I said, I was making a movie and a documentary about the prison industry. This is the prison industry. All this is perfectly legal. That's the NAACP Law Fellowship. This is Patrice Fitzgerald from the Department of Justice in Illinois. Patrice Fitzgerald. That's me in the Department of Corrections, Lake County Jail. This describes what was going on and is respectfully submitted. And these are the inmates in the Lake County Jail that were denied due process and equal protection. This is a legal notice. I put this legal notice on a toilet in front of Congressman Cummings' office in 2009, long before I was locked up for the toilet in Towson. Governor O'Malley has a copy of this. Governor Quinn has a copy of this. The Attorney General of Illinois and in Maryland. Carl Snowden had a copy of this. Doug Gansler had a copy of this. And so does Barack Obama. This is the Department of Justice email that I sent to them. So we are all on the same page. That's Commissioner Batts because the Baltimore City Police Department destroyed evidence and material concerning this investigation. The Baltimore City Police Department. These are the emails. These are the emails. And it names what I was asking about, shows you what I was talking about. And this email right here names the police officers and the state officials that knew about what was going on. The same way that you prosecuted Kwame Kilpatrick, you need to deal with James Moses, you need to deal with Siebert, you need to deal with Bailey Fine from Congress, from Senator Cardin's office, Mikulski's office. So tonight, at the Empowerment Temple, I gave Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake, I gave Pastor Jamal Bryant this material. I just came from City Hall. This is the material they had at City Hall. It's by Never Say Die. That's Molotolo from the Ravens and Ozzie Newsom. That's the letter from Governor O'Malley, then Mayor O'Malley. It was about the murder and the death of our kids in Baltimore City, Baltimore County. These are the programs that I've been a part of since 2006 when I started this program. This is the Shorty program, Housing Our Neighbors. I'm part of that. These are the Oreos. These are the Ravens. That's my catering. That's my store, my business that the state of Maryland took from me. Block party gets bigger and better. That's me in Park Heights. Community in crisis. We've been in crisis a long time. The prison industry and the killing of our kids by the police and across the country. That's me in Lake County, Illinois. You can look it up. Surrenders to shooting. I surrendered to the authorities. It was a territorial drug dispute. I put my guns and my drugs down in 1986. I went to jail for turning in guns and drugs to the police. And you can look this case up. It's a public record. I work for Pets on Wheels. And tonight they're talking about Pastor Jamal Bryant. Well, you won't let me on the panel. You won't let me speak. That's why I gave you the material. This is Enterprise Car Rental, because like I said, I do a lot of good in the community. That's Officer Dennis from the Baltimore City Police Department. That's Senator Kelly from Kelly Insurance. That's Mr. Smythe from Smythe Jewelers. And these are stories that are telling the good in the community. These are the good in the community that I have to offer. Like I said, I work for the Orioles, I work for the Ravens. That's Jeff Majors, that's Dick Gregory, that's the Big Fat Morning Show, that's George Clinton, probably Ben Funkadelic. 
This is Turnabout, the Johnny Unitas Foundation, and I helped raise $140,000 to raise awareness to rape victims. You having an a anti-violence forum? Well, this is the anti-violence forum in Zion, Illinois. You having an anti-violence forum here with Pastor Jamal Bryant and Stephanie Rollins Blake and the men from 300? You won't let me on the panel? Well, I'm gonna make sure I get my word heard. Like I said, this is a documentary. And it's about racism in America and our judicial system. It's about being black in America. And this black man is standing up.